It's the morning of 17.1 and I'm here at, uh, at Eastside Elite here in Austin, Texas. Uh, it's the gym we used to go to and, uh, and everyone's warming up but I'm just talking to a camera like an asshole so hi everybody. Look at this fucking guy. <laughs> Not making excuses. I tweaked my shoulder yesterday so I'm gonna go a little slow this That time. sounds like fucking excuse train <laughs> population to you bro. Uh, yeah, <laughs> normally that would be my lie. It's actually the truth this time. <laughs> It's time to warm up for 17.1. They're about to kick off heat one. And you know, warming up for an open workout is fucking crazy because you never know exactly what to do. It's like, do you warm up more? Do you warm up less? You start second guessing everything you've ever done. Like, do I do more pass throughs right now? Or how do I, should I jump rope? Do I row? Maybe I hit the assault bike. Who knows? Who knows? At this point, just. You just go in there and hope you don't shit yourself during those snatches or something. <laughs> Seventeen point one is done and in the books, and you know, in a really weird way, like I train for the open, uh, in that I don't actually train for the open, but then the open rolls around, and I feel like I really need to be able to perform. <laughs> the open is really weird. These uh, these workouts, you know, I, I have a lot of respect for these athletes that are able to go out there and throw down and really compete hard because you know I felt my adrenaline really sort of like snap in right at the beginning and I had to calm down, keep focusing on my breath, keep reminding myself to breathe normally. It's one of those things where in the middle of the workout, you can't possibly imagine going faster. It's not like you're choosing to go slower, just everything hurts or you can't breathe. And then uh, and then the workout's over, 25 seconds later, if you cut your breath, your body isn't hurting as much, you're like, fuck, I should have gone faster. That's a really fucked up part of CrossFit. The rest of the day is a bunch of errands and hanging out and hopefully just getting to chill a little bit because that's really what weekends are for chilling what's the key to recovering after an open workout kate burritos burritos yeah so what are we doing here we're, we're gonna stuff our face with some burritos yeah we're gonna stuff our face with some burritos <laughs> basically, so it doesn't count, there's no carbs there. That's steak, steak's good for you. That's guac, guac's good to you. That's rice, and rice is like good carbs. I mean. Perfect meal. It's a perfect meal. Yeah. It's a perfect meal. <laughs> 